for today. Just want everybody to please stand up. And then let's have first our opening prayer. Okay, who wants to lead our opening prayer? One, okay. So feed yourself in the presence of the Lord in our opening prayer. Let us pray. Father God, come be with us today. Fill our heart with joy. Fill our mind with learnings. Fill our classroom with peace. Fill our lesson with fun. Fill our friendship with kindness. And fill our school with love. Amen. 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 So everybody, uh, please be seated. So, uh, before we start with the discussion, I just want to introduce myself first. So, I am Miss Maria Aleri W. Wongong, and I will be your English teacher for uh, this year. So, especially, I will be your advisor for this class, which is the 7 Sampagita, right? Yes. So, um, I, I hope and I pray that this class will be filled with hope and joy, and most especially, um, love for each other. And also, um, help each other is the most important thing for you to pass this subject for this full year okay so do your best and we know if we do our best God will do the rest as before we start with the discussion proper let us have our um, attendance so as I call your name please say present if you are here okay so I know that here in 7 Sampaguita we have two boys right yes, yes. ma'am Yes, and we we had also six girls, right? Yes. 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 Ah, okay. As I call your name, say present. So, uh, first is Bayani Gerald. Present, ma'am. Okay, you're present. Gerald is calling. Yeah. Maasakit Eugene. Present, ma'am. And also Eugene is calling. Okay, one taki. Present, present ma'am. I like your name, Kate. Binabiel Lian Kate. Yes, ma'am. You're so cute. Liza, yes, yes. Liza is also beautiful. Pisaro, Jubilee, yes, ma'am. Present, ma'am. You're so beautiful, Jubilee. And Tuang Gatrika, present, ma'am. You're like a Korean Rika. And last but not the least is Miko Morena. Present, ma'am. You're so beautiful, Morena. You're all beautiful and foggy, uh, class. So we will begin with our discussion for today. So our topic for today is all about the basic sentence pattern. So I know all of you are familiar with this um, basic sentence pattern. Um, you can read book or you can browse in the Google so you can see this basic sentence pattern. So for the basic sentence pattern, we have here the different type. The SID, STVDO, the SLD, I IODO, the STVDOOC, SLVTN, and SLVTA. So later on, we will try, uh, we will discuss one by one, and we will give some examples for you to understand more about this basic sentence pattern. So before that, I have here some sentence, so all you have to do is to try to guess what are the basic sentence pattern for this uh, sentence that I write in a Manila paper. So, um, um, as I call your name, please um, try to guess. So remember, class, that there is no wrong answer. I will accept your answer because I can see the willingness for learning for that. So number one, Maria cooperated voluntarily. voluntarily. So Eugene, can you try to guess what is the pattern of this sentence? For the number one, can you please stand up? Not S I D. So let us see if Eugene is right with his uh with his guess. And the answer is S I D. So can you please guess what you're right? At least Eugene tried her best to guess what is the pattern for this sentence. So number two. The students help the barangay. So anyone wants to try to guess? Yes, Jubilee. Um, S T V D O. So let us um, try to see if Jubilee is correct. The answer is S T V D O. At least you are participating class. You're uh, a good class to be participated. Okay, number three. Lisa, give the children gifts. Number three wants to. Yes, Kate. S-A-B-I-O-P-O. -O. 
let us see if A is correct. And the answer is S T B I O T O. Okay, A is correct. And for the number four is we named our dog Major. Huh? So Tiara, can you please guess what is the pattern for this sentence? S T B I O O C. Okay, let us try to see. Tiara is correct. S T B I O O C. Okay, you give clap for Tiara. And the number five is I am the teacher. Can you try? Yes, Liza. Huh? S L V P N. Okay, let's try to see. If Liza is correct. And the answer is S L V P N. Very good, Liza. Uh, number six. Six. Stephen was elated. Can you guess? Yes, Morena. S L V P N. Okay, let us try to S L V P N. Okay, very good. Uh, let us try to see. Yes, Morena is correct. So you are a good class, huh? Because you are participating. I like this class because all of you are participating and um, you try your best to give answer for my question for today. So um, let us um, one by one. Let us discuss one by one with this basic sentence pattern. The number one is B S I B. Or the subject and can you read class? Subject intransitive verb. So subject and intransitive verb. So so first we will have our objective. So at the end of the lesson, the students are expected to number one identify the different basic sentence pattern, share their own examples of the basic sentence pattern. And the last is value the essence of the study in this basic sentence pattern. So we can we can proceed now. So there are different types of basic sentence pattern, and what are those? Number one is the SIB, and this pattern composed of subject and intransitive verb. So what is? Let us first uh, define what is intransitive verb. So an intransitive verb is an action verb that does not require an object for its meaning to be complete. So in here, the SIB or the subject and intransitive verb, intransitive verb are verbs that do not have a direct object and also the SIB is the pattern, the simplest type of the pattern. So I have here some example for you to understand more about the SIB. I have here examples and let us try to answer this um, sentence that I have here. What is the subject and what is the intransitive verb? Number one, the class is studied. Number two, children play. Number three, she sings. Number four, grandma plays. So let us try to know what are the answer. So here is the answer. Here is the answer. So number one, the class is studied. So before that, the subject is the subject is the action or the topic of the sentence, meaning um, what is being discussed with the with the sentence that is the subject. So the, for the number one, the class is studied. So the subject here is Gerard. Class. Very good. The subject here is the class. And the IV or the intransitive verb here is the studied. Very good. For the number two, children please. What is the subject? Children. children. Very good. And what is the IV or the intransitive verb? Place. Place. For the number three, she sings. And the subject is? She. And the intransitive verb is? Yes. Sings. Very good. Number four, grandma plays. The subject here is grandma. And the intransitive verb is? Is? Grace. Very good. Plus, so I have here some uh, example for the subject and intransitive verb. So I want to uh, answer this by K. So we, I will write the sentence. The number one is he runs. And the number two is the number two is they work. So he 
trying to answer what is being written in the white word. What is the subject and what is the intransitive verb? What is the subject? He, the intransitive verb is runs. Subject. Okay, very good, K. And he K. So, very good. That is uh, correct. He runs. The subject is he. And the intransitive verb is runs. And they work. They is the subject. And the intransitive verb is work. So, for the number two, we have a STBDO. So, STBDO, this pattern um, composed with subject, transitive verb, direct object. So, can you please read Gerald the transitive verb and the direct object? The meaning? Transitive verb is an action that requires an object for its meaning to be complete. Direct object is a noun that receives the action of transitive verb. Is answer the question what or who? Okay, for the transitive verb, transitive verb is a verb that accepts one or more object, meaning one or more object. And also for the transitive verbs, are verbs that, that mean a direct object. And for the direct object, it is the thing being acted, acted by the verb. So I am here example for the STB DO. So, I have two examples. So, so, number one is Sarah took the, the test. Number two, Chris tutors Jennifer. Number three, she loves purely. And let us try to um, find uh, the answer for this sentence. So, here is the answer. Number one, Sarah took the test. So, so the subject here is... Sarah. Sarah. Very good. And the uh, transitive verb is? Oh. oh. And the direct object is? Yes. And the test. Very good. Number two is Chris tutor Jennifer. Of course, the subject here is? Chris. Chris. And the uh, PB transitive verb is? Tutor. tutor. And the direct object, no other than, is? Jennifer. Jennifer. Very good. And the number three, she loves purely. The subject is? She. And the TV is lost. And the direct object is purely. So I have here, I have uh, right in the whiteboard uh, some example of STBDO or the subject transitive verb and direct object. And um, let us have Rita to answer this um, um, sentence. And let us read up. Let's try Rika to find what is the subject T B and D O and the number two is Smith. So Rika, can you please go in front? So what is the subject for the number one? And what is the TP? How about the PO? Very good. So number two, Leo is the very good. Gloves is the and Smith is the yes. Rika is right. So can you give a clap for Rika? So you are doing the class, okay? So number one, she drives a car. So of course, the subject here is she. The TV describes and the direct object is car. car. So number two is Leo loves Smith. So the subject here is Leo. Well, the TV or the transitive verb is loves and the direct object here is Smith. Very good, class. So number three, we have here the number three which is Smith. Uh, number three is the STBIOBO. This pattern composed of subject, transitive verb, indirect object, and 
direct object and what is the indirect object in read Morena? In an indirect object, we see the direct objects and plus two. One more for more. The action of the verb is done. Very good. Thank you, Morena. So the indirect object is the recipient of the direct object. Of course, if we have direct object, uh, we have also the indirect object. That is why the indirect object is the recipient of the direct object. So I have here examples for the subject, transitive verb, indirect object, and direct object. So number one, we wish you a happy new year. So number two, he has his elder sons where Joseph was. Number three, we both are both a new compromoter. So let us find what is the answer for this sentence. And here's the answer. So we cannot put the answer. So the answer here is we is the subject. And then which is the uh, transit uh the TV or the transitive verb and the direct indirect object is happy and new year is the direct object that is the answer for that um, question so I am here examples for our STVIO video so I I will write here in whiteboard so I want you really Pizarro to try to answer this um, example of STV I O D O. So number one, Tom, he, her, okay. Number four, and number two is Agnes. Agnes B. Tony. So, do we need to try to answer where is the subject? Well, the, where is the transitive verb I O N the indirect object? Very good, number two. Very good. Can you give a clap for Jubilee? Very good. And Jubilee is correct because for this sentence, number one, Tom gave her a gift. So um, the subject is Tom. The gave is a transitive verb. The indirect object is her. And the direct object is a gift. Number two, Agnes baked Tony some cookies. So the subject here is Agnes. Well, the bait is the transitive verb, Tony is the direct object, and some cookies is the direct object. So, we will proceed with the number four, which is, okay, the number four is the SDVPOOC. This pattern composed of subject, transitive verb, direct object, and objective Complement and what is the objective complement? Can you read A? An object complements a noun or an adjective that describes or tells something about the direct object. Okay, thank you, K. The objective complement, a word that follows a direct object, your name, it or starts what is, what, word, what it has become, and also. The objective complement describes a direct object. So generally, objective complement are nouns and art or adjective that describes the direct object. So I have here some examples of the SDVDOOC. Number one, we found the movie scary. So number two, they judge the movie appropriate for us. Number three, we called the cashier beautiful. So the answer for this sentence are, here's the answer. Number one, we found the movie scary. And what is the subject? 
We, very good. What is the transitive verb? Found. What is the direct object? Movie. And what is the objective complement? Yes. Yes. And the number two, they judge the movie appropriate for us. The subject here is they, they. and the TV is judge. judge. The direct object is movie. movie. And the OC is the appropriate. Very good. The number three is he called the cashier beautiful. The subject here is he. The TV is all. The direct object is share. And the OC is the beautiful. beautiful. Very good. So I am here also some example. So I will write uh, an example here at the whiteboard. So I want um, from the class to answer this um, question. So for the number four, I want Lisa in the field to answer this sentence and try to find the SDB DOOC. Michael calls his mother at night. And the number two is Senators. There the bill. Lisa try to answer this. So Lisa, so what is the subject? What is the TV? What is the DO and what is the OC? Michael is the subject. Paul is the very good. Very good. is his mother. And the OC is Nana. Very good. For the number two, Senator is the subject. Here is the transitive verb. The direct object is the bill. Very good. And an constitution uh, is the OC. Very good, Lysa. Thank you. So you are you're doing good class huh? because you are all reciting and you try your best to answer uh, this sentence that I have written, I, that I write in the white book. Board, board so for the number five, we have SLVPN. So SLVPN composed of with subject, linking verb, predicate, nominative or predicate noun. So what is the predicate nominative? Can you please read Eugene, the predicate nominative? What is written in my laptop? And a predicate nominative or a predicate Man complete a linking verb and meaning the subject. So predicate nominative is always a noun or a pronoun. So always remember that a predicate nominative or a predicate noun is always a noun or a pronoun. So the link we have here the LV or the linking verb. So what is the linking verbs? The linking verbs are verbs that connect the subject with an adjective or after noun. And also, the common linking verbs includes be, am, are, is, was, were, and seen. So I have here some example of the SLVPN. So num number one is the man is an engineer. So number two is John is the captain. So the answer is the man is the subject, is is the linking verb, and engineer is the PN or the predicate nominative. So for the number two, John is the captain. John is the subject, linking verb is is, and the PN or the predicate nominative or predicate noun is captain. So I will write again some example here in white word. So I want uh, from the class to answer this um, sentence and to try to find what is the S L B T F. So okay. So for the number one, I call Rena. We call 
coming from an uncertainty. And is is the boss. So where is the subject? Where is the LB? And where is the PN? Subject is an is is LB and from a uh, predicate nominative or predicate noun is the boss. For the number two, I want to call he. Grab L. Answer is he is dead. So what is the subject? The linking verb can be predicate nominative or predicate noun. Subject. So can you please give a clap for him? Yes. So here, that this uh, example or of SLBPN that I write in uh, whiteboard. Number one, and is the boss. Of course, the subject here is and, and the linking verb is is, and the PN is the boss. Okay. Number two is he is dead. So the subject here is he. he. The linking verb is yes. is. And the PN is there. Yeah. Very good. That is very good class. So for last um, types of pattern, we have the SLVPA. Or the this pattern composed of subject, linking verb, and predicate adjective. Can you read uh, Liza for the meaning? of the predicate adjective. A predicate adjective follow a thinking verb and describe the subject. Thank you, Liza. So a predicate adjective is that it describes or modifies the subject of a sentence. And as what I said earlier, the linking verbs, we have also linking verbs here, are verbs that connect the subject with an adjective or after so I have here examples of the SLBPA and these are number one, Susana is beautiful. Number two, the dog is hungry. And number three is Shirley is sweet. And let's find out what's the answer. So number one, Susana is beautiful. So of course, the subject here is Susana. And the linking verb is is. And the PA or the predicate adjective is beautiful. beautiful. Very good class. Number two, the dog is hungry. So the subject here is dog. dog. Very good. And the linking verb is dog. dog. And the PA is hungry. hungry. So number three, Shirley is sweet. The subject here is Shirley. And the linking verb is is. is. And the PA is very good, very good um, class. So I have here um example for the SLBPA. So I will write it on a whiteboard. So I want uh, from the class to answer and let us find out how what is the SLBPA. So number one is okay, UG number one. I become tired. Can you answer this? What is the subject? What is the linking verb? And what is the predicate adjective? Very good, Eugene. And the number two is I feel confident. So, Gerard, can you please answer this? Check the linking verb and the meaning or the predicate adjective. Very good. Can you please give a big clap to Gerald and Eugene? Thank you, class. So for the number one, I become tired. So the subject here is I. Of course, the linking verb is become and the uh, predicate adjective is tired. Can you please, Eugene, thank you for supporting. So number one is 
um, subject is I and the LP is feel and the PA is confident. So that is the um, example of the SLP PA. So that is uh, that is all for our discussion about the basic sentence pattern. So now um, we have here basic sentence uh, pattern. So let us try to um, recall again what are the basic sentence patterns. So I want all of you to read this basic sentence pattern. Number one is S I D. And what is S I D? Subject intransitive verb. And the second second one is S C D D O. And what is this? Subject transitive verb. Create your own sentence 